Grand rising, my friends. I am Yeshua ben Yosef, known to many as Jesus of Nazareth, and I have come to share with you a profound lesson that transcends the existence itself. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Picture, if you will, a barren hillside devoid of trees and shade, where the harsh sun beats down upon the earth. A humble farmer named David lived nearby and yearned for the comfort of a lush green forest on this hillside, a place where his family and future generations could find solace. One day, David met an elderly traveler named Elijah, who listened intently as the farmer shared his dream of a verdant oasis. With a knowing smile, Elijah spoke these wise words. My friend, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but do not despair, for the second best time is now. Inspired by Elijah's wisdom, David set to work immediately, planting trees upon the once barren hillside. Despite the arduous task, David persevered, knowing that his actions would sow the seeds of a better future for his loved ones and countless others. As the years passed, the trees took root and grew, transforming the hillside into a lush, verdant haven. David's family and the generations that followed would bask in the shade of the trees he had planted, reaping the rewards of his foresight and determination. David's story serves as a potent reminder of the power of action in the present moment. While it is easy to dwell on missed opportunities and lament the choices of the past, we must remember that we possess the ability to shape our future by embracing the here and now. So my dear friends, as you journey through life, remember the wisdom of the ages and the tale of David the farmer. No matter the circumstances, know that it is never too late to plant the seeds of change, to foster growth, and to create a brighter future for us and those around us. Farewell, friends and seekers of truth. May the lessons of the past guide you on your path, and may the love that transcends time and space be with you always. I love you. You love you and God loves us. And that's all that matters.